What up, M Squad? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, it's been a minute. Yes, it has. But today's going to be a sit down video. I'm going to get into and explain to you what's all been happening for this past couple of months. It's been like a whirlwind. This 2023 has been challenging for my family and I. But through it all, God has kept us. Um, so a lot of new things. A lot of exciting things have been going on, but there's been a lot of crazy stuff that's been going on as well. But I'm going to get into it, so let me get into the logistics of the video. If you are new to this channel, welcome, hello, thank you, nice to see you, nice to have you here. And if you haven't subscribed to that, to my channel, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that little red button over there to the right of your screen is free you guys it only take but a second and make sure you thumbs up this video share this video out and leave a comment or two as well if you are a returning supporter thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you guys for rocking with your girl okay but any hoots I've been working on trying to revamp my channel. I changed my banner for my YouTube channel. I've been working on a new intro, working on the outro as well, trying to up my, you know, my game per se, trying to bring new content to the channel, trying to work on some old content that I'm trying to revamp that as well. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys for rocking with your girl, for hanging in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your appreciation is much appreciated. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. But let me get into it, you guys. Like I said, 2023 has been a whirlwind. The latest is issues that we've been facing. So I'm pretty sure y'all know that Kia and Hyundai has been having issues with break-ins and um, how they've been trying to get in people's cars using a USB cord and uh, um, a screwdriver and just weird stuff been going on with Kia. I kind of found out that Honda actually owns Kia. So they are one in the same company. So that's the reason why Kia and Honda have been having the same issues. It's made by the same company. So we have a Kia Sorento. It's an SUV. We even we haven't even had the car a year yet. We only had it for a couple of months. And I want to say about two weeks ago, um, my husband went out to start up the van. I'm mean, going to start up our SUV because, you know, it was around about 6 o'clock. It was after 6 o'clock. No, was it after 6 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. So, it was after 6 o'clock in the morning. We was getting ready to go out and... Um, he warms up the car because it was super cold because the weather has changed here. And, um, when he went out, he came back in kind of quick. And I was like, he was like, somebody done broke into the car. So I'm about to think maybe they trying to take something. No. So basically we went outside. He said that the driver door was open. The passenger door was cracked as well. So I went outside and looked at our vehicle the whole ignition is completely gone and destroyed. It's on the floor of the car. All of everything around the steering wheel, that's completely destroyed. The turn signal is actually broken half, you guys. Like, literally, it's just crazy. I was immediately upset, so we called the non-emergency number. The police came out. They did fingerprints. They wasn't able to capture anybody. Um... Now, the weird thing about it is our car is actually parked up front. So, you can actually see our car. But there has been a lot of issues to where people, cars and alarms go off. We didn't even, we, we heard alarms, but we didn't too much pay no attention because, you know, at that time, we knocked out sleep because we so used to car alarms going off. So, um, our neighbors did let us know that they seen like, um... They seen some guys outside and, and came to find out it's a bunch of teenagers just just oh, very emotional teenagers you can tell they their father is nowhere in their life because trust me if their father was in their life they won't be acting the way that they have been acting that's number one so we got the police report 
excuse me, and um, the police came out. They was out for a long time. They took pictures. I took pictures. I called the insurance company. So we did all that, got the police report, the logistics. The police officer actually gave me two clubs to where you can actually put on the steering wheel so they won't touch, so they won't be able to take it. Thank God they didn't take the car. I'm glad about that because I've been reading up on the Kia situation to where certain states to where they're not even trying to help some of the customers. I know there's a big lawsuit in the state of, I want to say, Tennessee or Texas to where the, the state is actually suing Kia. They already got a major lawsuit already out right now. Some people is not getting reimbursed for the money that they had to come out of their pockets to either get a new car or to replace, uh, to fix the damages in their car. Like, it's a lot. So, I did put in my claim as well. So, I'm waiting to hear back from them. Um, it's just crazy. And then the insurance... I just don't understand the deductibles. If anybody working in the insurance field, let me know as far as, like, why, where's the deductible going to? Like, is that money that we paying out our own pocket to get the car fixed to the repair company? Because that's what it looks like to me. But anyway, so we got to pay $1,000 deductible. Um... Um, with our old insurance, we only had to pay five hundred, but this one is a thousand dollars. So that's crazy within itself. But anyways, it's just that that's just one thing that happened two weeks ago. So weeks, I want to say at the beginning of October, my husband and my daughter, we was out, and my baby girl, we was out. We was at Starbucks, so I was in Starbucks getting my order. And um, the car was parked up front. And this lady had glasses on. She came into the parking spot so fast. I think she wasn't paying attention or she hit the gas button a little too much. To where she hit a car that was parked on the driver's side. And then... We got tent on the windows because it come like their factory tent. The lady didn't realize that my husband and my daughter was in the car. I was inside, but my husband and my daughter was in the car. She didn't realize that somebody was in the car. The way um, my husband said it's, it's like, oh, you know, there ain't that much damage. You know, um, it, it is what it is and stuff like that. So when she realized that my husband had came out the car and started talking to her, she had a whole attitude. How are you going to have a whole attitude hitting the parked car with glasses on? Like, make it make sense. So she was going back and forth with my husband. So when I came out to uh, Starbucks, I went off on the lady. Like, I completely went off on the lady. And I'm like, so why are you mad? Why are you mad and going upset for a car that you hit that was parked? She hit the car so bad, you guys, the car was actually shaking. My husband didn't tell me that the car shook and they heard the big crunch. Like, who does that? Like, why is people getting upset for things that they, 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 that they are doing? Like, make it make sense. Like, she got glasses. And I told a police officer, I said, police, I told when he came, I said, she got glasses on. Like, she couldn't see the car that was parked. It was parked. Like, you got glasses on. She must have been in her phone, wasn't paying attention or something. A little bit more, she would have ran her car through the Starbucks. I mean, that's how she was going. It's just crazy. It's it's like so much has been going on. So we got those two situations that we're dealing with. We're dealing with the lady hitting the park car. Then we're dealing with the damage that's been done to Ikea due to that situation. And um, so my husband put a camera on the outside of our balcony so you can be able to see out front. So um, we realized and we noticed, excuse me, we found out through a couple of our other neighbors, their cars have been issues. They've been having some issues with their cars. Not everybody, but just been a couple of people who've been having issues with their cars, but breaking into. So I complained to our, um, our leasing office and they ain't too much, too much doing anything about it. And I'm like, okay, y'all need to have some type of security, somebody to patrol the area. Y'all need to have some cameras out. So it's just like, 
there's been a lot of stuff going on. So the men, I'm thankful for the men over here in this neighborhood because they've been really looking out for each other. They found out the two boys that is involved in the situation. My guess, I'm thinking there's other people that's involved in the situation as well. So, um, they was letting them know, like, if y'all breaking the car, y'all gonna get y'all tails whooped. So, I'm glad of that, that the men is sticking, um, sticking up and looking out for the women and the children around here. It's just, like, crazy. You can't, you work hard. Some people live in paycheck to paycheck, but you working hard for the money that you do bring in. And then somebody want to come and destroy your stuff. Like, it, it don't make any sense. Like, it's just crazy. Crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. So I've been going through that. Um, a couple of months back up into the year, I had got sick co with COVID the, for the third time. So it wasn't as bad as the first time and the second time around. This time around, it was more like flu-like symptoms. It wasn't bad. I was out for like a week. Um, so I was able to get over it. I didn't lose no taste. I didn't lose like no sense of smell or nothing like that. It was just more like flu like symptoms. Body aching, chills, fever, cold, no coughing or nothing like that. But I'm glad that I was able to get through with that. Um, so the kids is doing good in school. My oldest, she's in college. So I'm grateful for that. They still homeschool, yes. My kids will not go to public school ever again. It's a total waste. Like teachers are just not teaching anymore, which I don't blame them. Students is getting out races, right right. You know, they just students are becoming more they just ain't got nobody home training. They are going to school acting like they grown adults and then when the adults Meet them like a grown adult. Oh, they want to cry and want to have people to have pity on them. No, if you want to act like you're grown, you're going to get treated like you're grown. That's just my opinion. I wish one of my children go to school and act like they grown. I will meet them like they grown too. So, it's just crazy. A lot of teachers are, they are quitting. A lot of teachers are doing private school. They doing homeschooling. They are, like, opening up their own little schools for the teach kids. Um, principals, they barely have any principals at the schools. They barely have any school buses. Like, it's a lot going on with schools here in North Carolina. I'm not sure where y'all located at. Um, so let, drop it down in the comments below and let me know, like, how are the school systems there in your state, in your city? But I know here in North Carolina, they steady hiring for teachers, principals, vice principals. They hiring for bus drivers. They hiring for school counselors, school nurses. Like, no, these teachers are not being paid enough to deal with a lot of aggravating kids. And this, the, the curriculum here in North Carolina sucks. It sucks real bad. It really, really sucks real bad. So, I can completely understand. Wow, that's my dog barking in the um, background. Sophie, hush! Hush, Sophie. Um, so, I can completely understand why um there are like no teachers around like really there's no teachers whatsoever hush sophie so we do got a doll we got a doll i want to say around about april of this year <clears throat> excuse me yeah april of this year we got my sister doll her name is sophie um we only had her for a couple of months but um she's a poor with Perkinies mixed with something. She's nine years old, but she's a good dog, though. Um, but yeah, so it's been a lot going on. I've been trying to revamp my um, my YouTube channel, trying to come back in. I had I was doing like shorts videos, but I'm gonna get back into doing those as well. So it's been a lot going on. Like I stated, a lot of good things, a lot of bad things. I'm letting out my natural hair. Um, so I got it out right now. It's just like a wash and go type curly type style. I got to redo it back over. Um, but like I said, a lot of good things, a lot of, um, crazy.
crazy things that's been going on. The weather has been like, it's been cool like early in the morning around about 10, 11, around about 10 o'clock. I want to say that's when it started warming up. Today was like super hot outside today, um, which is surprising around about this time of the year, which, you know what? Because there, there was a time, I want to say back in 2015, Excuse me, 2015, I want to say like on um, Christmas Day, it was like 90-something degrees in Georgia because we was in Georgia at my sister's house on Christmas. It was like 90-something degrees. It didn't even seem like a Christmas Day at the time that we did celebrate it. But, yeah, so um, the weather has been good here. Um, it hasn't been like too cold. Like I said, it's been cold like in the morning times, but it kind of like warm up later on in the afternoons. Um, so, like I stated, trying to work on some new things. I just wanted to get on here and just share with you guys what's been going on. Um, I do have my new intro, but I'm trying to figure out how to upload it because YouTube won't let me upload it for some reason. So, I might have to put some more stuff to it so I can be able to add it to, um, my channel so y'all can take a look at it and see what I have done. But anyways... Um, I'm going to end this video. I didn't want to be on here for too long, but I just wanted to come down here and do a sit down video with you guys and just drop a comment or two and let me know what things that you would like for me to do that I haven't done before. So drop them comments down below. Let me know, put some ideas that you would like to see. And then I will go over it. And then if we do decide to do the videos, I will shout y'all out on that video. Okay. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share, 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 and leave a comment or two, all right? So until the next time, y'all be safe, be easy, and be on the watch, okay? Bye.